House Frey of the Crossing is a noble house of the Riverlands. The primary seat is the Twins, a pair of castles on each bank of the northern green fork of the Trident that serves as a vital bridge across the river, being the only true crossing until you get much further south. If you want to cross the river, the Twins is one of your very few options. House Frey Sigil is two blue towers united by a bridge on silvery grey representing the Twins. The strategic location of the Twins has allowed the house to become quite wealthy when compared to most of the houses in the Riverlands. Thus, House Frey technically rules over more land in the Riverlands than House Tully, whom they pledge their banner to. Under their current lord, Warder Frey, their family has grown in both size and power. One of the most powerful bannermen of the Tullys, the Freys can field a thousand knights and three thousand men on foot, a much larger army than their overlords, making both the Twins and the Frey army a vital war asset. Most current Freys tend to share the weasel-like appearance of one of their common ancestors, a Lord Walder. It is also a common trend among members of House Frey to dislike their northern neighbours, the Cranog Men of the Neck, ruled by House Reed of Greywater Watch, calling them names such as Frog Eaters or Mud Men. The animosity towards the house makes sense due to their close proximity. More likely is the fact that warriors from House Frey have failed and tried to conquer Greywater Watch many times over the centuries, failing each time. House Frey dates back six centuries, making it one of the newer noble houses in Westeros. The first Lord Frey was awarded lands and a noble status, and began the construction of the Twins, a great bridge spanning the Green Fork. Construction was finished under the rule of his grandson, who added wooden keeps on both sides of the river. The timber keeps were eventually replaced by stone, which received the name the Twins. Owing to their strategic location, House Frey prospered by exacting their toll for passage across the river, greatly increasing their wealth. The house has grown into the most powerful bannermen of House Tully and like to see themselves as equal or better than their lords. The Twins are among the strongest castles of the Seven Kingdoms due to both the strategic and defensible position. However, some older houses look down upon the phrase as upstarts and nothing more than common toll collectors. During Aegon the Conqueror's conquest of the Seven Kingdoms, House Frey aided Aegon and rebelled against Harren the Black of Harrenhal, the King of Isles and Rivers. Afterwards, the Freys joined the other river lords in swearing fealty to House Tully, the new lord paramount of the Trident for House Targaryen. Later in 43 AC, a Frey lord supported Aegon the Uncrowned, grandson of the Conqueror, against his uncle, Maegor the Cruel, who had usurped the crown from his nephew. Later again in 112 AC, during the build-up to the Dance of the Dragons, a young forest Frey was mocked as a fool for asking for the hand of Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen, who at the time was King Viserys' acknowledged heir. This would effectively have made Forest Frey Prince Consort when Rhaenyra became Queen. Later still, during the Dance of the Dragons, House Frey sided with the Blacks of Queen Rhaenyra against the Greens of Aegon II. Lord Forest Frey died fighting the Westermen in battle, in the Battle by the Lakeshore, in 130 AC. Much later still, in 209 AC, Sir Duncan the Tall recognised the Frey Banner among the many arms on display at a tourney at Ashford Meadows. Later, Lord Ambrose Butterwell held the White Walls tourney to celebrate his marriage to new lady wife, whom was a member of House Frey. The current Lord Frey attended the White Walls tourney, accompanied by his daughters and his four-year-old son, who is the current Lord Walder Frey in the main books, as well as his brother Franklin and his nephews. During the tourney at Harrenhal in 281 AC, the squire of a Frey knight accosted Howland Reed. This knight was later defeated by the Knight of the Laughing Tree and told to teach his squire honour. During the long reign of Lord Walder Frey, the house has exploded in size, as he and his descendants sired many offspring. He offered Brendan Tully, the Blackfish, his choice of three Frey girls in marriage, but was refused, taking this for a slight against his house. When Lord Titus Lannister requested to Walder's proposal to marry his second son, Emmon, to Titus' daughter, Jenna, the ten-year-old Tyrion Lannister spoke out against the match. During Robert's rebellion, Lord Walder left it very late to declare his side. He arrived at the Battle of the Trident only after the outcome had already been decided. Due to this, he gained the mocking nickname, the late Lord Frey. Into the Baratheon era, Hoster Tully, the Lord Paramount of the Trident, refused a Frey bride for his son, Edmure, and did not attend Walder's wedding to his seventh wife. Lord John Arryn and Lady Liza Arryn also refused to foster Walder's grandsons at court in King's Landing, or send their own son, Robert Arryn, to the twins. House Frey plays a huge role in the main book series, which is really beyond the scope of this video. Needless to say, Walder Frey exacting his toll on Rob Stark before the War of the Five Kings is the vital plot point. 
Rob then backing out of this marriage pact with Walter is ultimately what leads to the events of the Red Wedding and Rob's death and the downfall of House Tully, with House Frey now Lords of the Riverlands and controlling Riverum. Going into the Winds of Winter, they will play a huge part in the events to come, especially in the North. For me, House Frey is a very interesting house. They found a way to make themselves powerful with the twins and they've used that power very well to rise up the ranks very quickly. One thing that says a lot to me about the kind of man Walder Frey is, is the fact that while House Frey was always looked down upon and mocked owing to his origins and method of gaining power, this really seems to get taken up a level when it comes to the time of Walder Frey, a man who although did deserve his nickname and mocking, mocking, seems to have handled this as well as his prior Lords of the Crossing. It made him a bitter and angry man. He felt like he had something to prove. Another Lord Frey might not have gone as far as the Red Wedding, but Walder Frey is somewhat different and unique. And maybe this might be the downfall of the house. We'll have to wait and see. What do you think of House Frey? Do you think they'll have any redeeming factors? And what do you think their role will be in the books to come?